What's up guys, I'm playing Javelin. Now, I did six or seven videos that I recorded uh, where I spoke in it and for some reason the microphone is muffled. So I don't have the sound on and because that really affected it. Um, but even without the sound, my new microphone is for some reason muffling my voice uh, so I'm using my earbuds again but yeah we have to redo this entire thing all over again we did not finish the game but we got pretty far I believe so let's do this before my guardian died, they passed on to me the greatest of their findings. I kept it, I keep a summary with me always. At the end of the world, within the long abandoned city, lies a forgotten temple. In the deepest, oldest halls of this temple stands a throne. Long ago, these ancient halls were sealed shut behind a massive door. Rumors lost in the passage of time told of a twisted key which could break the seal and open the door. The key could only be used by the High Lord of this holy city, whoever wore the crown and held the scepter. The city prospered and grew for a thousand years until suddenly the great city was destroyed by a darkness within. This throne at the very center of the temple is said to continuously reflect the light of creation. It was once said that anyone who seats themselves on the throne will be imbued with this light and become unstoppable. It, 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 the, the text just goes... After months of research and weeks of travel, I finally locate the cave entrance marked on my map. Hopefully my notes are correct and the scepter lays inside. I gaze up at the world one last time and then carefully make my way below. The text would... It just goes way too fast. I've, I've, I swear, I've played this so many times. You gotta get that snake. You go through this door that has a penis ejaculating on it. Uh, yeah. And then watch this. Watch this. Yippee. That's great, isn't it? Oh yeah, there are also these bonus things. Get those bugs, huh? Where are we? Are we on the moon? There are a bunch of tiny craters. Craters. If I can speak properly, my god. Got some nice flowers. Yippee. I swear I hate some of these levels, but can't skip them. I don't think I would. Although I've done it before in a game called Window Frame that wasn't worth uploading because the quality was terrible. But it was basically a game where you the window would move with you. Uh, that's about it. You could also stick little spikes onto the sides of it to make the window stay. Yay. Can we get it? Let's get the bonus thing. That was something I tried to do, tried to make sure I did in 
the seven or the six or seven videos I did before realizing it was terrible. Oh, yay. Didn't realize it, but there was a spike cannon right there. Isn't that just wonderful? Oh, yay. That happened. There's also a car with their base up really high right outside my window. Um, I accidentally did not get the uh, uh, I didn't get the bonus thing last the level. Oh, there's something there. Gotta, gotta get it. Okay, this level was really easy. They're not all easy, I'll tell you that. Oh, I thought I killed the bat. I guess not. Yay, we got all three of them in one shot. And that got me in one bite. I was looking at the inside of a snake's mouth. Or self, because like, do, they, do snakes even have mouths? What is the mouth and what is the throat of a snake? What is the body and what is the throat of a snake? Nobody knows, but except for that snake. Or se except for me, because I'm inside of that damn snake. Yippee, I died. This time, not because of a snake. Oh. Yeah. Yippee. Yep, got both of them in one shot. That's great. It's really great. But you know what would be even better? If the fucking microphone would work. I'm not mad at who gave me the microphone. I'm just mad that it won't work properly. Oh man, I thought I could have made that jump. And still grab it. Gotta wait for that. When the timing is perfect, there we go. There we go. We're doing awesome. We're doing great. Uh, yeah, we have to go through this again, but there are no obstacles. There are no enemies. There are no hindrances in our way. Yes. Mm hmm. Oh, shoot. Come on, move. There we go. What is the door really? I can't tell. I don't know. I'm not going to look into it too hard. Oh gosh, it's this one. Luckily, it's an easy one, sort of. Yay. Uh-huh. I cannot, I don't, uh, I can't believe I made that. Where I survived through that, rather. Did I, uh, maybe I did. I don't know. Get the bonus thing. Yay. That's exactly what I wanted, you know? Mm, yes. Do it to me again. Please. But yeah, I'm sorry I don't have the sound on. If I had the sound on, you would not be able to hear me. Oh, yay. I guess that just happens. Yeah, that too. 
Yeah, yeah. No. Oh well. You know what, we're not even gonna get the bonus this time. I don't care. I don't care. I do not care. Caring is something that I don't do in this instance. Oh gosh, come on. Come on. There we go. I just gotta wait for them. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's this one. Oh, yay. Mine. Cannot believe I made that in one try. Look at that. I'm the fucking javelin master and the lava falling in master. Oh, but that's okay. Uh, that's all right too. Because it only took two tries to finish that last level. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Uh, oh well. Uh, yay. Oh no, shit. Oh man. There we go. The flying scepter of stars. I'll get it. There we go. I got it. There we go. I got the got that star. Got the bonus star. There we go. Oh, finally I spot the scepter in the deep reaches of a cave. As I approach it, I hear a bloodthirsty screech from above. Yes, a vampire bat. That is absolutely correct. And I remember we're going to use the infinity technique. Mine. Uh, but it'll work. I, it'll work, I promise. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm telling you, it's going to work. It is going to work. I'm the greatest twirler of all time. Uh, take this. Take my twirling skill. I uh, wasn't doing it correctly. Take my twirling skills, bitch. Uh, it didn't work. <sighs> It really is a bloodthirsty sucker. There we go. Okay, come on. There we go. See, this is what I call the infinity sign technique. Oh no. Just one more. There we go. Yeah, do your little red circles, bitch. Oh 
Okay, do I get my scepter? Yeah, I do. The scepter is heavier than I thought, and I need both hands to hold it up. As I try to decide where to go next, I feel a tiny, desperate tug from the scepter itself. It seems to be urging me east, nothing else to go off. I, I hold the scepter in front of me and follow it further into the dark. Nope, we don't hold it into the darkness. We hold it up into the dark. Yippee. Alright, I'm gonna push this next part over to another video.